some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone! Ooh! Right. To Board Games Unlocked and we are continuing Madara, Unintentional Malum Act 1. Uh, I prefer just... an intentional Malum. I, I prefer... What's, what's, what's a Malum? It was like an evil. act of evil. Okay, yeah. I prefer um, the opposite of that. I prefer intentional good. Scene. Yep, anyway. That was never funny from the beginning, uh, to, to begin with. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we just got our ass handed to us in the mind. God of high. damn, you're right. <laughs> so we're uh, we're not we're not looking too good because we did not. Well, let me just double check. Let me double check. Just, we just had a little, a little bonus for store. We're learning a new character. Just a little bonus for store. A little, little fudge. This was like, oh, you got rid of your healer. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Yep, so let's see. Uh, nope, but we did gain one. Everyone did <coughs> gain one XP. Oh, okay. Well, she's so. ready to max out now. No, she's. I think that's how, why she is at eight. I oh. think she had seven. Oh. Uh, anyway, so. So, yeah, now we are in monsters. Monsters Ooh, everywhere. Monsters. You continue to follow Justice until the Dark Passage opens up onto another platform. More steel carts litter the tracks. Some are upturned while others are still resting on the tracks. Nearby, a rope dangles from a steel hook. You should hang yourself. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it could be used to climb, but it looks dangerous. Hopefully, you dangerous. won't have to find out. We win if we get an adventurer onto exit on the blue exit. Right okay. There. Right there. <laughs> we lose if all adventurers are defeated, which seems a lot more likely. All right. Special, special rules. Special sexy, sexy rules. All right. Hopefully in like Acts 2 and uh, like 3, they uh, they just get rid of this spiral bound book. <laughs> Cause at least, or it'd be nice if it, they were metal. Cause like these are all like kind of warped. So it like tears some pages. Uh, Damocles is still with us. He's hanging out. That's pretty neat. Um, he starts at the back. Uh, there is an encounter <coughs> Esper, which is the spirit blade. Um, because it was above and below, because we went the easier route, oh, what? if we had done the red X, it, it would have been a straight shot to get here. Mm. But since we didn't, we have to go up and, well, we could theoretically jump. We could theoretically jump. Or fly. No, you can't fly. Because... Oh, right. <laughs> low ceiling. Just rip everything I can do <laughs> off the table. Yep, uh, can I use flight? Um, <laughs> yep. Tracking time. At the start of each round, add a time token to the back of the initiative track. Once the third time token is added, read the following. So, uh, time token. Will you hand me that, that, that massive tray? This one? Yep. Massive. <laughs> well, you're welcome. That, that's massive to send. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm easily pleased. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think these are these are time tokens. If not, that's what I'm going to use because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter. Yep. So there are dynamite tokens. Dynamite blows up, does bad bad damage. Um, objectives. There is a blue rope right there. An old rope dangles from a sturdy steel latch on the edge of the cliff. It dangles low enough to grab from a lower elevation. An adventure on the north side of tile UM13. <laughs> what? UM13. Oh. Uh, and also on elevation one, may jump to any space adjacent to this token, making a jump check as normal. Um. Oh, okay. So. Okay. So I guess if, yeah, if you're on the north side, you can jump to that. Uh, oh. Yeah, because it is elevated. Uh, there are um, basically. This entire, oh yeah, we can see it. This entire ridge carries over, like, it's, I wish it was more displayed here, but basically, where it says elevation three and one, that's, that's carried over all the way down here. Hmm. So, yep. And because we can see that green totem, uh, I need to... It's immediately going to go off. Yeah. Yep. On all four legs, like a feral beast, a blighted guardian crawls towards you. All around it, cave sickles scurry about. Spawn... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Spawn a blighted guardian on the space this totem occupied, then spawn six cave sickles on any unoccupied spaces that <coughs> to the blighted guardian. 
Okay. Well, I guess we'll just do that then. And just get our our little weenie smack. There's a blighted guardian. I'm gonna give you the cave sickles. Okay. Okay, so I will actually have to reshuffle those. But ancient cave sickles. Where are you? You're right here. So was it right here? Right on the spot there. Oh, right yeah, on the okay. space it occupied. Oh, I also need to put one, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't mean to be like a downer or anything. Uh, I'm not feeling great about this with how low we are on health. No, we'll just use the rice balls. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Yep. Ten health that we can uh, disperse. And give it to the lowest people. Well, I mean, Nightingale's a fucking monster. I would say she can eat it all, in my opinion. I don't know how Zeke's doing. Zeke's at 12. No, Zeke's at 16. He he didn't take a whole lot of damage. Because, um, like, I mean, she uses this life force for big big D, so I, I, I vote for that. Okay. Because, I mean, Remy can gradually heal as long as she's dealing damage. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, not getting murdered. <coughs> yeah, yeah, there, she's only low because she, uh, got chained off the, uh, chained off Fucking the Fucking bullshit. Alright, here, place those all around the Blighted Guardian, please. I guess those are... <laughs> oh, man, they're not around? Weird. All around him, huh? <laughs> yeah, and then we have a Living Oblation out. So, okay, so that puts Remy at 20. I'll take that. <laughs> Remy, eat up! <laughs> yeah, that's right, we have Zeke wearing a garter. Because he's sexy. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm just going to leave Damocles out, because... Cave sickles right here and here. And then the blighted guardian. Oh yeah, that's like a permanent refillable throwing knife, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Nice. The garter knives means I flip them instead of discard. It's hot. Yep, and at the start of each encounter you may unflip them. Nice. Cause I was like, oh shit, I don't have them. But yeah, he basically goes and picks them up. Which is pretty nice, because that's just free damage. That's it's free just, real that's estate. Free, huh? Free real it's estate. free real estate. Ah, and at this point, all my cards are sleeved, so I don't have to, like, worry, because, like, the encounter cards were really getting, like, worn out. Just how often you shuffle them. Yeah. What did that green elixir do? Didn't it make you, like, stronger than Rook? Uh, yes. Um, that was our bounty reward, right? My strength is seven. Gross. Yeah. So, give her a plus five from strength <laughs> buff. Yep, the brute serum. <laughs> yep. Oh, give her more health, too. Yeah, that puts her at eight. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. She was at ten. But yeah, I think it puts her at 24 total health. Nice. But she still has no armor. Or she has one armor. Mm-hmm. Uh... Probably gonna pick up those organizers, those character organizers. Okay. Oh, of course. And then Zeke. And then the Blighted Guardian. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, Damocles will go at the end. Justice. Then Nightingale. Then the Spirit Blade. Then Remy. And then the Cave Sickles. Damocles now goes all the way to the back. It's like, follow your lead. All right. Well, that that is that. So, Cape Sickles, one through three. One through three. Okay, red boy. No. <laughs> within range four, no. Can move an attack an opponent within range four. Yes. 
So their movement is six. One, two. Okay, Damocles is within range. Nearest opponent. Then make a range attack four. So he's got a lot of buddies. Mm -hmm. One, two, all three, four. All of them. That means he's getting maxed out. He's power. He's got red. He's got lime. He's got extra armor. Okay, taking a shot at Damocles. Is Damocles going to dodge? Um, What has he got? He's immune to haste. Mm -hmm. Unmodified stamina is six. He's dealt two or more damage from a single source. He gains a vow token. When making an attack, Damocles may deal irreducible damage up to his HP. Same amount of physical damage to his attack. Okay. Um, so, do, do, do. Yes. Um. <coughs> he gains a vow token. Yeah. Let's see here. What is his? His defense is 12. There you go. Fair. Oh, he has three armor. Okay. So he's he's going to chill out. We're going to see how this shakes up. If this one hurts. Then maybe he'll miss. Maybe he'll yeah, miss. Skull. Skull. Good. Or it still misses. Ass, Absolute it's, whiff. It's an ass. Pew. Yeah. Pew. It goes wide. He dodges nimbly aside. Um, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. To get within range. I'm going to go for Damocles again. Another whiff. Nice. Because I got to get a 12. Um, okay, next up was Orange. So they can move through, I believe, difficult terrain with no debuff. One, yeah. two, three, four. He'd probably five, move over to the right. Six. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go with Damon Plays again, just because he's the NPC. There you go. Ooh, that one might hit. That one might hit. That is going to be uh, 15. So three over wipes the armor. So anything else will be damaged. Okay. So, he gets bonuses. He gets one, two, three, four, uh, five from symbols. So, is that going to be five damage at Damocles? I mean, he can heal to a return. <clears throat> um, da, da, da. There's not much else we can do. And he gets a vow token. When you deal damage, deal plus two damage of the same type. So, he is vowed now. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, man. Do we have to eat that rice ball at the start? Yes, the very beginning. Damn it. This is a really good Esper if for her being really low on health. Mm. It's all the figures with an SOI are dealt magic damage equal to half the total amount of damage you currently have. So it's kind of like, I'm about to die. Okay, I'm just going to AoE. Or like, what, 12 damage if you're like at one hit point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, magic damage is everyone with an <laughs> SOI. Her SOI isn't, as, isn't increased anymore. It was six. But now it's back down to four. Okay. Okay. Was that them? That's them. Zeke. They're done. Zeke, my man. Go in there and rip some ass. That sexy cloak of his. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What do I do? What did that cloak do? It gave you, like, sweet backstab bonuses? Uh, yeah. If, um, where was it? Well, I can ignore the first break attack. I would provide each turn, um... Where was my backstab? Um, I don't remember. Where? Uh, oh, uh, gain plus two physical damage while flanking. Hmm, yeah. And the fucking... So the Bly the Guardian has 30 health. The Living Oblation has 30 health. Spirit Blade is uh, equal to its bearer, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a floating sword. Hot. Um. Okay. We just need one adventurer to get there, and so we are essentially on an elevated three, and we can't. Can we just willingly jump down from elevated three down to a one? Or do we do we take damage? I know if it was three or more, you die. Ah, no, that that might be it. Okay. So it's only a difference of two. So I think you're fine. Okay. Oh, I see. Here, look at the please while I think about what to do on my turn. Their health is sixteen. 
What do I got? I could... No, I don't have my bow anymore. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because I forgot we nerfed Zeke, because he, we basically, he has plus four armor piercing, and we kept, we weren't stacking it. Yeah, he's got, yeah. Yep. And I get backstab, but obviously that's not doing anything right now. Um, okay. Well, first things first, he is gonna, he is gonna move. Um. So. Elevation. Oh, turn right to Nice. See what I can get. So we cannot draw a line of sight to anything on higher, unless they're on the edge. There are four levels of elevation. Four is the highest, one is the lowest. You may move between the change of one without penalty for an elevation change of two. You may not. You may move to the lower elevation normally, but may not move back up. An elevation change of three prevents a figure from moving to the higher elevation. Okay. And if you're moving to the lower elevation is defeated. Ah. With flight, you can move between them. Of a difference of three. Yeah. Okay, so four to one kills you. Yeah, four to one okay. kills you. <clears throat> so we're at three to one. So you can jump down. Okay. Uh, but so we I can't get back up without effects. Well, uh, because, well, the rope. <clears throat> right. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do um, <laughs> my blade works. Blade works. And attack that it has armor, but it doesn't matter for him. They don't have armor. They don't have armor? Nope. Is they it, have defense. Oh, it's higher defense. So the defense is four fucking teen. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rough. It's a rough to hit him. Well, actually... Well, they've got four buddies. So yeah, they're right there. Okay. Okay, I know if I miss, I can I can try it again. So, um, oh, beginning of his turn, status phase, he heals because of his Nirvana's mark. Nice. Oh. Ooh, that is thirteen. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Do I get anything that increases? My shit. Anything to re-roll one dice? Um, hmm. Well, you can always aligning machine. Yeah, but it seems to be the, the entire roll. Yeah. After the first. My my bone chipper increases it, but um, it has to be consecutive attacks. And it has to be after the first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's an exhaust. Might as well. Yeah. So... That was even worse. Okay, well that was from the fight drive any or not the fight drive, that was my blade work, so let's go ahead and I'll just do an actual attack. Say your attack. Come on! There you 15. go. Fifteen. Okay. The right number. Until the end of each turn, every attack you hit with. Okay, so fifteen, one over, one, two, three. Woo. <laughs> three damage. Whoa, three damage. Um, <laughs> three damage. Do I do I waste the throwing knives now? Well, I mean, if you thin them out, that's going to weaken their defense. Yeah, the blighted guardian is going next, and what's he going to do? Eat my asshole? I bet he will. With the side of chips. Ah, oh, that's right. He has my asthma. So, okay, how, how, which one did you hurt? Purple? Yeah. For three damage? Yeah, I think so. Okay, <sighs> okay now I'm going to hold on to the throwing knives. Well, throw is within SOI. Yes, no. sir. Damn, I'm just out of <clears throat> just out of reach. I was going to throw them at the Blighted Guardian. Um, that is the plan anyway. Um... Yep, that's pretty much what I got. Surprised by the sudden onslaught, Zeke is left off balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He grazes the target. I don't think there's anything that could surprise him. Oh, I missed? What a shocker. <clears throat> All right, well, is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there an opponent within SOI? No. Can it move and attack an opponent? Uh, it's movement is four? No. Can it move and attack an opponent within range four? Yes. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Three, four. 
All right, move to be at up to range four. Oh. Well, it doesn't have any ability, so actually it, it, it can. It can move right there and shoot at Zeke. Um, so they're taking a minus two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so where you roll a red and a lime. Red and lime, so it's not power, no power? It is not empowered. Okay, so whatever oh, this sorry. is. Oh, 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 Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, I need. I should probably keep reading. Move to be at up to range four from up to two opponents. Oh. Uh, can it... Where was it? Yeah, here. One, two, three... Four, five. Four. It only has four movement. Oh. Okay, yep. It's going to hit Zeke and Damocles. Okay. Wait. I mean, okay, so where did it start? Here? Oh, sorry. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. It couldn't Oh, move yeah. Here. It also couldn't hit Damocles, so that's as, that's as far as it's going. Okay, so it's just Zeke. Yep, so, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Minus two to whatever this is. Didn't matter. Did Ouch. not Ouch. did Ouch. not matter. Can we throw down a reroll on him? It's a pretty strong. No, one. there's basically nothing in this game that forces enemies to reroll. Yeah. <laughs> Short of that. Yeah. Uh okay. So yeah, range attack against the nearest opponent. It is Yeah, so what did it get? Nine and eight? Nine and eight. Okay. I am going to... Once per encounter, use my fate engine to remove all symbols from the nine. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, because that actually, that's the worst one. So that is at a 17. My defense is nine. Um... No, you think it's got to be, like, 12, right? Uh, it's, oh, uh, yeah, or it's 9, 11. 10, 11. Okay. So 6, six yeah. 7 damage? Uh, I mean, if you got 17, um, and mine's 11, yeah, it'd be 6 damage plus that, so 7, 8, 8 damage. 8 damage, um, where I have no way of dodging. Eight damage. Mm. Okay, that puts me down to four. Ouch. So that armor doesn't give you a bonus dodge? It's just like more of a damage armor? Nope, it's basically... Um, oh, wait, no, sorry. Exhaust dodge. There it was. Okay. I can reroll. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. there we go. That's 15. Let me go back to my... my. Where was I at? Four? Yeah. Uh, basically just add four back. Nice. Yep, and then I it's going to try and pull me for Force 11. And my conviction check is an old purple and a, and a white. Whoop. What a shocker. I got a five, so I'm getting pulled four spaces. Ouch. Right there. Right in the... Right there. Oh, then he makes a... He can't attack another opponent. That was his whole turn. Nice. Oh, wow, now the Living Oblation. Okay, what do you do? Has Nimble and an SOI of six. Is there an opponent adjacent and an ally within six? Uh, no. Is there an opponent within SOI? No. Is there an opponent within SOI? No. <sighs> is there an opponent within SOI? No. Is there an, an encounter? Esper alive on the board. Take a turn. Okay, yes. Yes, the Spirit Blade. Okay, Spirit Blade has Nimble... Uh, flight and resistance, physical damage. The first time each turn that it successfully dodges, and the current action and all abilities. Then Spirit Blade moves up to four spaces towards the furthest opponent. Anyway, is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there an opponent that spawned the Spirit Blade a lot, or is there a figure that spawned the Spirit Blade alive and have damage equal to ah? Spirit Blade sacrifices itself to fully heal it, the person who summoned it. Mm. Otherwise, move towards the nearest opponent. So well. It can't. If the elevation, based off the picture... I think it's flight. It can't, they can't fly. Mm. Like, unless the flight rule fucks only us. Oh, nope, okay. Yeah, adventurers cannot use an ability that would grant flight. But then it says, in addition, nope, if a figure has flight as a passive ability, they lose this. 
So, no. Oh, he doesn't have flight. Sweet. He does not have flight, so I guess he's just going to stay there. Okay. All right. That, well, that was her turn. So, Justice. Because it, it goes like this. So, you see the elevation, then just imagine it goes all the way across here. So, we're just... Oh, on. sorry, sorry. No, I, I lied. It, it comes down here. So, yes. It, this is able to get to. So, it's going to move. Uh, one, two, three. So, is this all elevation three? Yes. All this? So, you see how these... Yeah, these I see are, this. These are separated. Okay. So, imagine this gap now is all elevation three, and then it stops here, and then goes down the edge of that. Oh, so this is also elevation three. Yes. Okay. Except okay. this. This is actually not elevation three. That's how it, I was just able to move it, because it's just one, two, three, four. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I thought it went all the way across, but I gotcha, forgot gotcha. it doesn't. Justice. Justice reigns from above. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm going to come in. I'm going to hit it with a book. Let me give him... You heard about books? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, she's already gone. Yeah, so she's going to move up. One. Two, three, four, five, six. And she's going to be like, Yo, dog, don't be striking my homie. <laughs> Um, just can't catch a break with Zeke. He can't hit for shit, and then he just gets his ass beat. Okay, so I can spend two. I want to though? I'd like to be able to dodge. Maybe I should be more conservative. Mm. Or maybe we can just thin these guys out rapidly. But they're so defensive. Well, a Nightingale is next. Yeah, she's a goddamn monster. So fuck it, send him a book. Oh, I can use the. Her temporal cavitation, everything in SOI gets hurt. Including us. Just fucking do it. Within SOI, that is literally everyone. Yeah, and her SOI is expanded by two. So she can oh, get all six? the enemies because she has the hemlock. It would be everybody. Oh. It would be every single foe. What do they get hurt? How much do they get hurt by? Uh, a, her casting die worth of magic damage. Roll separately for each figure affected by this ability. That could be good. She uses the line up to nine damage. That could be good. It could be super low for all of us and then super high for all of them. Yeah, could. It's not going to be with your rolling. It's going to be yeah. ones, ones, ones for all of them. I mean, these guys have 16. They have a lot more health to play with than we do. I'm just True. saying. Um, like, neat and whatnot. I mean... Hmm. I mean, but they're basically bottlenecking us in that area. Like, yeah. I mean, most likely more enemies are coming from this. However, I I. Feel. <sighs> Didn't she have a way to teleport? Uh, no, she has to flip the book. Oh. She has to flip the book to move? She. It's. It has to be equipped as a. As a oh, I see. I mean, she could just hop on over, right? No, this is in your way. Yeah. That was my plan with Zeke, which actually getting pulled is not the worst thing. Um. To hop over. I mean, yeah, I guess we could just hop over and try to avoid the worst of them. Because the I mean, cave sickles will do everything to prevent themselves from dying. I think I think they actually have something that says that they won't. Like they they don't, they're not gonna jump over. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can only I have one, one more space to play with. I could move past... Oh, yeah, break attacks, right? Break attacks are a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can so, only be, what, bro uh, break attacked... Was it once per round? Yeah, once mm -hmm. once by each creature. Yeah. Once per round. So that'd be two... So anyway, I'm just going to hit purple with a book, see if it works out. Maybe it might. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe I we'll think you should do the ability. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I could... If I roll an eye, I would kill Remy... I know, it'd be so um, it'd be, it'd, 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 It's it'd, undodgeable. It's magic damage. Mm -hmm. no. Anyone have magic resistance? No. Physical resistance. Like physical Physi resistance. Yeah, I have a lot of physical resistance. Um, can see you remove all symbols from one die. Yeah. Can Zeke's, Zeke's, upgrade. Zeke's at eight. Nightingale would survive. Yeah. Because she, she has 20 health. Mm hmm. But, but, Nightingale gets hit that lowers her health. So we just make her, I use spend a bunch of her health to then do more stuff, and then I summon that exalted Esper, and then AOI everyone, every mm -hmm. enemy, with, uh... Yeah. 
with uh, you know the guardians of imper uh, impermanence. Ooh, okay, okay. Right. Um, here's something. So I started back here. So one. Two, have we three, have we thought about trying to challenge four, them to a Braxis five, battle six, dice? Yeah, we thought. <laughs> of, yeah, um, I could. I could use the Bamf token and get her in the middle, move her forward, and only affect the bad guys. Sorry, uh, what? The Bamf. She has the Bamf token. It teleports. Yeah. Oh, I asked if you said that. You said no. I thought the Bamf token teleported. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I I was thinking about the books teleporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had had a conversation about that before. Yeah. So let's see. If I did do the move, I just do my standard move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move one more. Um, Doesn't matter. Seven. I could go one, two, three, four, five. So anywhere within her SOI. So I can go here, <clears throat> and that means... You would hit Zeke. Just Zeke. I think that's okay. Okay. I think that's cool. Okay. She's gonna you said it. within her SOI? Within her SOI. Well, maybe maybe a little further. No, 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 no. I think probably getting away from them. They're, they're, she's pretty gross. Okay. All right. We're doing it. <clears throat> Zoom. Zeke's, Zeke's this fucking playboy. Like now that the new the new girl showed up, like <laughs> immediately like throws Remy and Nightingale aside. He's like, I'll sacrifice myself for you. For you. But he's gonna survive. Yes. Okay. So oh, let me get all the health ready. Oh wait, what do you? I, I took a bunch of it. You took all of it. Oh, oh okay. Here it is. <laughs> okay. So I'll just work my way down the line here. So teal. So we're gonna do red bug. Nine. Nine damage. You said red? Yeah, red okay. bug. Woo. Just took a fuck ton. Of course, it's like the most awkward number. I know. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now purple. Four. Okay. Three. That's okay. a seven. Four, seven. So a five and a seven. No. Let's start the beach round there. Seven. And then we've got orange, takes four. Um, teal, takes eight. eight. Nice. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, lime, takes five, finally. <laughs> yeah, finally, one token. Yeah. Um, and then, what, what pink would you call it? Crimson? Crimson? Magenta. Like magenta. Another five. All right, now for the Blighted, the Guardian. Blighted Guardian. Seven. Seven. I'll take a seven. I'll take a seven over there. That was a fuck ton of damage. That was Just, good damage. Yeah. Uh, All right, Zeke. Let's see if you survive. Eight. Okay. Surely not, right? <laughs> exactly eight. <laughs> I told you to do it. It was. It was. I mean, he wasn't doing shit anyway. Yep, I just wish I'd thrown my knives um, before, because I didn't even know she could do that. I forgot about that, but that's okay. That is okay. Zeke also just withers away. He just, do you want Damocles? Huh? Do you want Damocles and Zeke's out? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, you you ran him pretty good last time, and I I don't know how he runs as well. As yeah, you. I was trying to keep them and stuff. Okay, so yeah. Oh, gotcha. All right, so those are... He can have six. That's right. All right. Neat. And... Oh, I can okay. these guys if... Or... No, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I can... Uh, so... that Was was that Justice's turn? Yep. That's still good. That's yep. still... I mean, like, how much damage was that, like, in total? In total? Eight. Um, Eight. Eighteen. Um, Twenty-one. Twenty-six. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty-five. 39, 40, 46? Nice. 46 points of damage uh, across the board. Let's see what, um, I might also do that as well. Is it, oh, the sword got one too. <laughs> Did it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nine, Nine damage. Uh, yeah. I think the sword, because uh, you would know this because you've played her, does it, it has an asterisk for its health. Does it share health? Yes, it okay. shares her her stats. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, you're right. That is a very awkward number. 
Three, one, ten. Nice. With an S O Y. Okay. All right. She just teleports in there and it's just like. <laughs> Eyes all rolled back, black acre. Oh, God! And then she's just like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does the oo woo. Oo woo. <laughs> Zeke's like, oh god, you're so hot. He passes <laughs> out. He just that's that's really what happened. He just dropped a fat just, load and then just No, he had a nosebleed. Oh, yeah, Cuz that's that's when they that's their <laughs> erection. That's <laughs> That's just, That's exactly it. Okay. Let's fuck some shit up with Nightingale. Okay. Go run and do her away now. Uh, I was actually thinking about it, but she has too much health that it's not really going to be worth it. And that's just flat magic damage. Like, you know, there's no roll. Um, no, doesn't she have another one that's more... Oh, Life Grasp. Yeah, you're right. That is up to three different opponents within oh. SOI. Um, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to do one to move. Uh, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to run up. Then... I am going to. What's her movement? It is six. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna deal herself one damage, so she goes down to nineteen mm -hmm. to make bring the shadows cheaper. Bring the shadows. Make a move during this movement, so it does not provoke break attacks, and I may move through opponents within no penalty. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So did you get these three? I did not get orange. Okay. Um, I went through basically red, purple, the Blight of Guardian, and pink. Okay, fantastic. Uh, then cast a spell six against each figure move through, ignoring SOI and line of sight. Uh, casting, casting die, deal magic damage equal to the result, and inflict darkness. So, let me do my spell six first. Um, after a spell, you may you cast successfully, affects an opponent, spend one SP to deal two magic. Okay. Um, yes. So, I need to make... My casting die, which her casting die is gray. Ooh. A six. Can you do better than a six? I can. I mean, it goes up to a <laughs> ten. That is over half. Yeah. That's a twelve. Um, then cast a spell six against each figure move through, ignoring SOI. Um... Yeah, so, hmm. What was this? Oh, that's right. I could spend, at any time, I may spend three SP to unflip this book. Because this book, the Chain Grimoire of Perdition, mm -hmm. allows me to cast the spell again. Nice. So long as it didn't have a per encounter or flip condition, I can cast it again. Nice. Does it cost you anything? It's a flip. And yet to unflip it was what? 3 SP. Oh, so you just take some time. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's like you're spending the next turn now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Um, I'm going <sighs> to... Hmm. I could re-roll. I'm not gonna. Um, yeah, the in this infection is discarded. Then... Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it at twelve because this one, th that one's not as big a deal to me on doing it. It was basically just for me to move because my life grasp is gonna be better. Mm -hmm. So roll conviction checks for those four. I will roll for the. Um, so what check do they have to make? Twelve. Twelve. It could be the twelve. So whatever theirs is. Okay. I don't know what their conviction checks are. We'll fail on purple. That is an eleven on the blighted guardian. So he fails. So and it's and you deal how much damage? Um Roll my casting die, deal magic damage equal to the result. Oh, sorry, hold on. This I'm thinking. Then cast a spell six against each figure move through. Oh, okay. Ignoring SOI line of sight. Roll my casting die Ah. Okay, so he failed. A purple failed. Okay, so um Okay, so now I roll my casting die again. So, purple's taking six damage. Okay. 
and it is uh, dark. It is in darkness. Okay. That's another ten coming his way. He's one hit point left. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry. It was purple. I fucked up. Mm. Uh, I mean, you could, well, no, you could just say it was red, because I also moved through red. Okay, that's true. Yeah, let's do that. that sounds better. Okay, now we'll do purple. Probably. Now purple. Um, you said 12? Uh, it's actually going to be, it's, yeah, that is going to be 12 again. I need to do it against each figure. Okay, fail. It's fail. 11. Okay, so now I do my casting die again. It's taking 5 damage. 5. 5, 6, 7. So. Sorry, would you say he's taking 5 damage? Uh, right. Okay. Uh, yep. I need more of those. Yeah. Bly the Guardian has taken 8 damage. That puts it at. Oh, right. I can just flip this. Perfect. Put 15. Okay. Blighted Guardian, you did him. Yep. Okay. And then you also hit pink. Yes. Oh, 10. Oh. Okay, 12. Okay. I've got literally rolled just sixes. You heard him. What do you get? Um, eight damage. Nice. And that was one pink. Eight. Yep. Oh, what's about 13? <clears throat> Who's the weakest one to kill? Uh, red, for red. sure. Okay. He's so, down to one hit point. Alright, I will gore shot. Okay, it needs to be the 14. Fail. Okay, it's just going to take two damage. Blah. I'm not going to increase that. Okay, at least it'll start to weaken their numbers once you start knocking them out. Yep, okay. Then, I'm going to do life grasp. Exhaust casts a spell six against up to three different opponents within SOI. Deal magic damage equal to the difference rolled on their failed conviction checks. After rolling to determine the force of the spell, I may deal myself six irreducible damage to add six to the roll. So, um, yeah, cast a spell six. I'll take that nice. eight. I'm going to deal myself six damage to make that uh, a 14, 20. 20? Yep. Okay, and you deal the difference? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, but, I, but it's going to be three. Oh, oh, before, actually, actually. Exhaust. After a spell I cast successfully affects an opponent, I will spend... Uh, oh, nope, I need an SP. Never mind. I need an SP for the life grasp, too. You could use her ability? I could. It's just going to give her Remy and Damocles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay. Same. Sure. Why not? Let's, we're going all out. Yeah. We're like turn one busting. We're just like, we're scared. We've already lost Z. <laughs> you know, like I have no summons. We're fucking tapped. Yeah. We're rats in a corner. <laughs> we're all like blaming each other. Justice, why'd you lead us in here? This so is your we're going fault. all in. Just Where the hell is it? There we go. Dump it. Yep. All right. So that's actually, so that's going to give her two. Uh, Remy and Damocles will get one. Uh, so that's been used. So, yes, I will spend one, exhaust it. It's going to deal two magic damage to all figures within SOI. Okay, two magic damage, huh? Yep. Okay, so... Ouch. On that 20, two I'm going to have the Blighted Guardian. That's okay. you. That is going to be... Two magic damage. It turns out into a five, turns out into ten. a ten. Two magic damage. Blighted Guardian has three health left. Nice. And then two, that turns out into a five. You know what's great about this is uh, the Blighted Guardian has the Miasma, where if a target of a spell or an attack, if it misses, then their turn ends. Uh, haven't missed. <laughs> nice. So, yep, so 20. So I chose the Blighted Guardian, so that was one. I need two more. Who's close to death? Uh, Close? Yeah. I mean, pink's one hit point away. Um, but, you know, orange is still pretty healthy. If this is going to look like it's going to be big damage. Yeah, go after... Uh, he's not... He is within SOI. Yeah. So, take your pick. Um, they're all kind of wounded. Pink, is the pink and purple are the closest. Followed by teal. Remy and Damocles can probably definitely clean up. So, well, let's hit the ones that haven't been hit. Um, let's see. Four and six... Four and six. Let's do teal and uh, let's see, yeah, teal and lime. Teal. That is eleven. Okay, it, nine damage. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> that is a. For the record, that is a level three crewer. It's pretty sexy. Oh, it, actually, you should probably check out their updated email because they talk about other disciplines. Oh. They have combo disciplines. Oh, cool. Coming. And then lime, you said. Yes. 
Okay, we got a 12, so eight it's damage. 8 damage. Dang, he's like 2 away. So it's like he's at 5, 6, oh wait, 7, 8, so he's at 50, yeah, 1 away actually. Um, so we've got 2 at 1 hit point. Okay. Um, was there something you could do to deal like an additional magic damage to things affected? That was something, that was my old, old thing, mm -hmm. um, that I had, uh. <clears throat> yeah, they're all pretty fucked up. Yeah, the problem is, uh, well, Remy's gonna get to go. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I will hold on to, yeah, I think I will hold on to that. I mean, granted, I could just fucking do my Exalted Esper now, and then she is at... 13, her total, um, her total health, I think it's 22, that's 20, 22, um, so 8 damage, so the Exalted Esper would do 4 damage to everyone within SOI. Mm -hmm. 4, that would kill 3 of the, 3 of the guys, what about, how much did he have left? Who? Him. Oh, yeah, he has 3. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Let's uh, yep, let's flip flip this contract. Um, she's like, she's like, oh, that girl's trying to outdo me. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are, Justice? I have my own books. Yep. So after she does all this blood magic rituals, she just then just undoes a scroll like fucking Naruto summoning jutsu, and brings in this fucking guy. Nice. Uh, yep. All other figures within us. Oh, it is figures. With an SOI or dealt magic damage equals so, she justice will take four damage as well. Ouch. So, what that. kind of damage is it? Magic. Okay. Yep. So four magic damage, just straight up outright. Delicious. Um, hitting. So that will kill the Another. the blighted guardian. That's gonna kill purple. That's gonna kill. Lime, that's gonna kill pink. So that's gonna get so her. So you're gonna get a loot. I'm gonna get two loot because she killed the blighted guardian as oh, well. Oh, nice, that's true. So the only one, and then there was four, so it's six, I'll put it right at ten. Okay, I think that is everything. For that was all, everything, that was all of our AoE that we could muster. I just, yep, yeah, that's. If I had, if I did have one more SP, I could have done my euthanasia, which, um,. Inflicts wilt and deals six magic damage. Nice. Oh, then it also... That's right. Then it also inflicts condemn. No. That's why I took this book. Because with euthanasia... Euthanasia. <laughs> with euthanasia, it, uh, it inflicts wilt. And then if, they're, if I cast it again and they already have wilt, they get condemned. Nice. And that's why doing the same spell again works. So... Oh, and then they if they are were already inflicted with both condemn and wilt, then I roll the black die, and if it's a skull, then I can just start. I can start advancing their con uh, condemn their condemnation. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Spirit blades turn. <laughs> did you draw both your loots? Mm -hmm. I did. Okay. Yeah, seven and nine. All right, you want me to run spirit blade? Uh, nah, I got it. I got. It. Oh well, actually, I did kill like all your all your people. So, yeah, you can run spirit blade. Okay. Okay. The first time each turn. I hope we it, restore after this. <laughs> so dodge an attack and the current action all abilities. So he interrupts you if he dodges you. Yes. If he dodges the furthest opponent, then he's making attack. Damn. So if you if he dodges you, he, he you moves up. four and then attacks. Hmm. Okay. Is there anyone adjacent? No! Is the figure that spawned the spirit blade alive? And no. Otherwise, move towards the nearest opponent and make an attack. And his movement is only four. Three, four, five. He says movement's only four, though. Yep. <laughs> That's what I said. All right. That's it. Yep. That's it. Okay. All right. Then yeah. So that's his turn. Remy. Just like <laughs> there's two explosions back to back <laughs> of blood and rending. <laughs> Okay. All these cave sickles just wither away. <laughs> just they just Thanos snapped. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Well, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I can't fly. No, you can jump. 
could jump. I'm bad at that. Or we just need to hang out with Nightingale, who's like bigger than Rook right now. <laughs> just put because these are like in those uh, Two, like three, those teardrop bottles. Five, six. So she's just sitting there. She's like, "Oh, we're about to fight." Okay. Mm -hmm. Just putting like like some medicine in her eyes. Mm -hmm. and it holds up. Let's see here. Heavy double. Is this the melee version? No, this is ranged version. I want melee version. Okay. Break attack. Oh, I would have had to stop here, or I would have caused a break attack. Mm, yeah. First time you provoke a break attack, you may counter. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so I have to fight from here, I guess. <sighs> you missed. I did. Um, I did that using false title. Um... A normal attack now. Oh right, I could have hammer helmed actually. Yeah, because I have hammer helm as well. Yeah, or well, Damocles does. Hammer helm's fucking nice. I can roll, roll anything in it's the. Like, can we meet pool. someone who isn't the embodiment of evil? <laughs> right. That's not too bad. That's a fourteen, 14. against their now only twelve. Two over two. That's three, four, five. So, total of extra six. So, already two. We're at eight damage. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> I do remember we clean up one. Hey, she gets a come back and loot. Money. Put in the back. Okay. Well, um, I, can still, I can't move attack and move, unfortunately. So, right. I, mean, I have extra stamina. Yeah. No, oh, no way she heals two. Mm. So, it puts her at 11. Oh, she has the ring of blood? Just she right. does. She has a lot of uh, duality with uh, Damocles, Damocles right and, now. Damocles and Zeke. Yeah, if she had the, if she had the scythe, she uh, they'd be pretty, pretty similar. They'd be. It's like where are Remy and Damocles? Ew, ew. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, well we're just gonna keep going. Let's see here. <laughs> you remind me of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> drink the same drink. Um, okay, that's it. Okay, that's what she got. Well, uh, oh yeah, the cave sickles are dead. <laughs> the, why the guardian is dead. Uh, that was fun while it lasted. Uh, just kay. pop the cooldowns. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just waste them all. Waste them all. Alright. Yeah, so he, he has he has four uh, total. So I guess let's just have him move. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. We'll just... Uh... Man, I really kind of just want him to jump over. What's his strength? Holy strength. Or, sorry, it's agility. And it's ten plus... What, like fourteen? I always... Yeah, I think it's 14. It's plus one for each each space over the first. Um, I just, for some reason, can never remember the jumping. Where are you? Right here. Jumping! Oh, it's plus two for each additional space. So, two. Yeah, it'd be 14. And his, his conviction is two teal. No, it's, oh, it's no, it's the two straight, purples, two yeah, purple. yeah. So, you're adding how much? Three. I need an 11 with two purples. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> happening, dude. Yep, just, I was just testing, <laughs> I was just testing. Uh, okay. Well, then we're gonna boom, and we're gonna go doon, doon, and spend all that just to kind of get him running on. Okay. All right. If I could, I've been running up that hill. Like a That's everywhere right now. Is it? Is it still? A little bit. Okay. It's, I, I'm still hearing it regularly on the radio. Gotcha. It's good. No, it's not bad. It's, not bad, it's, it's, yeah, it's funny it's to me that the the show brought it back. Mm -hmm. That what was it? A Stranger Things. Yeah. Okay. So shuffling <clears throat> all these. Start of a round. We have a second time token added. We have to read something if there are three. 
Okay. Justice. Nightingale. Damocles. Remy. <laughs> Zeke is dead. <laughs> she's like coming around the corner. And she's like, ha ha, there's a lot of worth all the enemies. Worth all my allies. <laughs> all right. Justice. 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 Okay. What can I do? How accurate is this shit hell going to be if he break attacks me? Oh, this is the spirit blade? Yeah. If, uh, oh, it's, um, two purples, two reds, sorry. Two reds, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Well, you know, you know, live bigger, go home, right? So, we're gonna move. One, two, three. Break attack me. Oh, okay. Two reds. Uh, twelve? Oh, just one over. That fucking sucks. One, um... Two, three, four. Four damage. Okay, so I do have one armor. So, okay. three damage. Three damage. One, two, three. Okay. She had one HP. Oh, no, 11. Okay. Uh, oh, should I have gone? I should have gone this direction. I don't know where you're going. Totems are probably bad. Totems are always bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I'm... I'm. So, where, where was she? Where did I, I think start? she was here? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... <laughs> so I is enormous. Um, yeah, I mean, with Nightingale with the plus. Oh, right, I could just skinny on over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Damn, please can eat. Okay, so that red's gonna go off. <laughs> Does it still go off? I mean, we're not getting to her. Or want her to just come to well, us? Well, so if you're going here, you're jumping down. Because that's elevation three. We don't have to kill her, by the way. We just have to get here. Mm, gotcha. Uh, now, well, she is nasty. Her SOI is also six. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I was just going to AoE again. Oh, you? Oh, that's just that's not a once per... No. She. Oh, it is shit. You're right. Okay, I'm like, jeez. I'm like, <laughs> I can just keep doing it. <laughs> Goodbye, okay. All that has been redacted. Stupid. You're just jealous. <laughs> okay, whatever. We hit the blade. Okay, with the book. Let me hit the book. Um, but is this magic damage? Is the book magic damage? Um, it's like every book symbol is magic damage. Is the rest physical? Yeah, I think so. Because this guy's resistant to physical. Is he? Yeah. He is. Oh, yeah, physical damage. And yep. he's nimble, so he's going to dodge. Yep. Yeah, well, first, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. And then he's gonna fuck me up, right? Depends if you miss. Because his defense is now 17. Okay, so I didn't take that break attack. Just saying. Yeah, that's fair. 17. <laughs> what would I need? I would need... Max roll. Max. Damn near max. You've done it before. Yeah. <coughs> that's easy. That is... I was shy by one. Do you have anything to add? They can add? Like, to the accuracy? Yeah. That's a rare get. It, yeah, it is. Golly. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing, man. That, that sucks. sucks. That sucks. It, it would have been better if I'm way off, you know? I know. 14? 14. Yeah, it's going to hit by two over... Two, three, four, five damage. Okay, reduce by one. One, so four. Okay, so yeah, you did take that break attack. <laughs> um, however, yes, it ends your um, end the current action and all abilities. And now he's gonna attack. I just did that. Oh, that's yeah, right. I, that was his attack. It, okay. it, but it ends whatever you were doing. Gotcha. So.
Um, okay, that's her turn. Who's up? Nightingale is up. And it is... I am very worried that we're not going to get a fucking rest. If we don't, man, if we don't get a restore after this, that's going to be rough. <sighs> my thought was the reason why, like, is just spend these three to flip my book. Mm -hmm. And Damocles can come in and and clean up because he's like, I am gonna do that. I'm gonna spend the three to flip my book. Actually, it does say reduce the SP to unflip this card by one if uh, if the other weapon you have equipped. Oh, I don't have another weapon. Oh, this is only one handed. Nice. Okay, so that's all I'm doing for her. Uh, then Damocles gets his three. Oh, and he has that sinful privilege. He can attack from Justice's space. When choosing the target of an attack or spell, Damocles may instead target an opponent that is adjacent to an ally with no penalty regardless. Oh, God. Yeah, that's an exhaust. Uh, it means I'm not doing his re... Oh, yeah. Okay. He's disgusting. Yes. Yep, let's have him attack from uh, Justice's spot against the Spirit Blade. Um, he is a teal... 13. Thirteen. It has nimble as well, so it's gonna reroll. Oh, okay. it's, it's gonna try to dodge. Can it? It's just every time it's attacked. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use hammer helm. That was worse. Why? Well, you can just reroll one dice. Is with it? Hammer helm. Yeah, you can choose which. Oh, dice. any dice. Oh fuck! What I roll? I don't remember what what results I got. I'll go with that. There you go. Um, let's see. Blood Pack, when making an attack, Damocles may deal himself irreducible damage up to his remaining SP to add the same amount of physical damage to his attack. Okay, it is resistant to physical. Re yep, so it means whatever I add, it it's gonna add. It's 30 gonna... hit points. Yeah. Yep. Um. Okay. Let's... Okay. So, well, okay, so it's a 17. What does he have? It was a 16 with that with that defense. So I'm one over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine. And that's irreducible? No. When you deal damage, add two damage of the same. Ah. So nine... Um, ten. Let's do. Let's deal myself. Um, seven damage. Um, to make it a uh sixteen, or no, eight damage to make it sixteen. So he'll take eight damage. Nice. Yep. So I'm gonna add six damage because he heals whenever he heals by one. Okay. So you're doing eight, eight damage? I'm doing eight total damage. Okay. Of course. So Five. I, here, I got it. Okay. Five. We'll just do this. Okay. That was his attack there. Um, yeah, and he healed too whenever he deals damage to an opponent. Yep. That is his turn. Uh, well, uh, Remy is so far back, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna leave him there. So now Remy's turn. Remy! From Dog. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you remember Zeke? <laughs> I remember him falling like a oh, bitch. Pussy. Little punky, punk ass bitch. Okay, Remy is juicing up. Chain pick. Force. I could possibly move them, pull them up before they gain flight in this duration. So it's immune. Can't do flight. I guess the front hand I'm doing melee is probably our best bet. Yeah. Eight, nine. 
thing. Just have reach. Oh, yeah, I, that's right. I could just flip it. Ooh, <clears> yeah, <throat> I could do. I could do my precise strike. Get plus two the normal value, so I could be six spaces away. Where did I, where was I? Before I started spending more. Uh, I feel like right there. Or is it like one, two, three, four? Is that how I have to draw it? Uh, what six spaces away? Yeah, yeah, you can hit him. Well, there. yeah, no, I mean I have to draw it like that, like yeah. straight ahead yeah, and then you, do an angle. Yeah, the spaces are there. It's just like line of sight and stuff is where you do like the corners to the point. You think? Uh... Okay, I'm gonna shady turning over here so I don't have that minus one. Nice. Um. Okay. So, he's dodging again, I guess. Yes. Okay. Gonna do precise strike. Make a ranged attack. Okay, it's plus oh, two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The spirit blade has nimble flight and resistance the first time each turn. No, okay. Yep. Yeah. No, it'll dodge each turn. Okay, nice. Oh, each, each turn? Yeah, not each round. Okay. So, it will dodge. Okay. So, okay. He's still within four spaces. I'm gonna do a standard attack. I'm just gonna weather the dodge first. Oh, he miss. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> Fuck him. Um. Okay. So I just have to get four higher than his defense. His defense is thirteen. So I need seventeen. Okay. That's exactly seven. No, it's damn it, six to eight. Okay. We're gonna do hammer helm, and we're gonna gamble. Oh, come on, you fucking bitch. Is it the same roll? It is. Um, I don't think I have any other re-rolls since I did hit. That's the only thing I can do to boost it. So, unfortunately, we're not going to get the five irreducible damage mm. that I was hoping for there. Gotcha. But it's still a hit. Um, okay, so that's 14. I'm what? How many over? One over. One over. Yeah. I have two four shields. So that's a total of four damage. Okay, so two damage. Two damage. Yeah. I mean, it is at 19, so it's at over half its health. I can try and... I'm going to pull him. I'm going to try to pull him anyway. Oh, wait, okay. I don't have a star. I need a star to be able to do that. Oh. That sucks. Okay. Um, well... Um... Okay, so little mistakes were made here. Okay, so I had to spend a two to do that attack. Uh, I will follow up with quick blow. And I'll attack again. Uh, we aligning machine. Okay. Thirteen. Mm, just enough. Just enough to hit. Okay. That's another four damage. So two. So two. Dang it. I was hoping to get to pull him. Uh, I do heal two, though. Nice. That blood ring is nice. It is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. All I right. can't. I can't. I got to remember that false idol is only for melee. Oh, yeah. Okay, Living Oblation. No opponent uh, adjacent or an ally within six spaces. Is there an opponent within SOI? This figure has at least ten damage. How much damage does... Oh, did we reflect the damage? Were you doing that? I did. Yeah, okay. I was flipping the okay. ones. Okay, cool, cool. To threes. Is there an opponent within SOI? This uh, There is. It is Justice. Barely. She is barely within SOI. Her yeah. SOI is six. Uh, does Justice have at least ten damage? Uh, no. No? Okay. Is there an opponent with an SOI and this ability has not been used? Uh, yes. She is summoning Minos. Ah! Against, uh, Justice. Okay. So, uh, an opponent with an SOI has dealt magic damage equal to the total number rolled using both their conviction dice. It is two teals. So Justice will be taking magic damage equal to... 17! Okay. I have the hammer and gauntlets. I survive with one hit point. Oh, <laughs> You're condemned. <laughs> when you would be defeated by an opponent, heal one and remain in play. Okay. So that would have happened. I died, 
and so I wouldn't be condemned, right? You would. It says then inflict condemn. So the damage hits, you come back, then you're then okay. you're condemned. I, yeah. Yep. Based off that wording, it's like yeah, yours. You get hit, you go down, then the gauntlets keep you alive, and then it's like inflict condemn. Well, luckily she only does that once, and of course I rolled the basically the highest roll ever. Yeah. Okay. Living oblation sucks, but she's got some fucking milkies. Loser. So there was no conviction check in there. No, no. Minos is just a flat. Just roll, okay. roll magic damage. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and use the pennant to remove that from myself. Oh, okay. Well, on her turn. Sorry. Well, on I mean, her turn. On her turn. Okay. I'm like, is it worth? It says per encounter. Oh, per encounter. Oh, okay. I was like, is that is that, is that really worth it? Well, it might not matter anyway because the spirit blade is going now. <laughs> oh, and now it's gonna murder me. <laughs> yeah. So he's got a fucking whiff so hard to not kill me. Yes. Make a rain, melee attack against the opponent with the most damage. I dodge. Uh, yes, I will be dodging. Okay. So, if you dodge, I'm a counter. When you dodge, don't roll a skull. Okay, so I'm dodging. Doing my free dodge. Okay. Oh, do I get a reroll? You successfully dodge the attack. Don't roll a skull. Okay, so I do get a one. So, I'm at 10. No, I'm at 13. No, I'm at 12. 12! What do you get? 13. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> so, one. Damage. Just one damage? Well, one, oh, two, three, four. Oh, what the fuck? You got a nine. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't deal with that. It would. It. I mean, it, this is like the worst situation because then it's like make a range. Make it like then it has a follow up to make an attack. Then it follows up again with another attack. Then it makes an attack priori the, uh, prioritizing a figure that the spirit blade hasn't attacked. Okay, I don't wow. have any other. That's onslaught, right? That's like Zeke's ability. It's basically onslaught, yeah, but better because he actually hits. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I don't have any uh, rerolls. Man, sure. well, because he, he yeah he does an onslaught and then he fight, he goes and attacks someone else, adding plus three, um, to his attack roll. Okay, she's and, down. Yeah, got her. God. <laughs> All right. Yep, that was the spirit blade. Okay, well, um, justice is out. Yeah, her getting the uh, um, only being able to summon once mm -hmm. is rough. Yeah, it's just like I, going, I didn't know that that were my, I didn't take into account those were the limitations when I did. I yeah, did the big summon immediately. I didn't know how fucking hard like going into these mines are. Like, I mean, they gave us like they gave us a new character that we could build from the ground up, and they gave us and they gave us Damocles. fucking Damocles. Yeah, so. and he's he's pretty stacked. Yeah. So, so they're like, fucking let him have it. Yeah. Yep. Damocles. Does he always go to the back, though? No, that was I, I did check that. It's only uh, on um, setup. Okay. Yeah, I, I checked that. Uh, but this is the third one. Um, on the third time it's added, read the following hidden text. <laughs> you die. A lone cave sickle emerges from a small hole in the floor. He begins bat batting at the old hanging rope with a sharp foreclaw. Place a cave sickle on the space to the north of the blue objective token. At the start of this cave sickle's next turn, read the hidden text for the special encounter rule brittle rope. Uh, to the north of the blue objective token. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just climbed up and it's, is it a fucking cat? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Damocles. Damocles. Let's. One. Two. I needed justice to stay there. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's move. His movement is only five. He's a slow. So one, two. I'm just actually going right there anyway. To then do Soul Carver against him. <laughs> Maybe I'll roll really high for him. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, will you roll his dodge? Oh, right, all right. So, I hit. I just hit, which is fine, because that is going to be one, two, three, four, five damage. I'm going to inflict myself one damage to make it six, so he's going to take three. So, he will take three. 
three total damage. Nice. Uh, then... <laughs> I'm gonna do a follow-up and inflict Condemn. Oh, actually, this would've... Fuck. This would've been empowered. Hold on. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a legit roll. <laughs> Two more damage. Okay. So what are we in now? We're at he's 15. At, he's at almost dead. So, basically, grab a five, so turn that in. So he is at 26. Okay. But he needs to make a, a force check of 13, and his conviction is two limes. 13, you little bitch. It's condemned. I'm just going to keep these. I'm just going to keep these over here. I'm um, just going to hold onto these right now. The camera likes to see my ass. Uh, you just have this massive you have this foxtail butt plug in there <laughs> my assless chaps <laughs> I don't remember you wearing those I put them on before we recorded Madara the, the, the audience expects it of me uh, that is his turn Remy uh, Remy yes let's go should have, should have had him get painted as well right right Okay. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And let's go fucking melee on this ass. You need to do. Well, he's at 26. You need to do eight damage. That will, uh. That'll just. That'll kill him. Yeah. Alright. Let's go fucking false idol now. What did I have to do? Oh, yeah. You wanna dodge for me? Dude. Uh, yeah, I know. Aren't I super fun? Okay. Yeah, no skill. That's fine. Own. That's fine. So, well, no. As soon as he successfully dodges oh, hold me. Hold on, hold on. Technically, technically, give me... Oh, the cave, that cave sickle needed to go. Oh, okay. Is it... Isn't it just thematically staying there cutting the rope? Probably. But I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, because it says at the start of this cave sickle's next turn, read the follow. Okay. Um... The cave sickle daftly cuts through the rope. The cave sickle, along with the rope it was playing with, tumble into the darkness, discard the blue objective token, and remove the cave sickle from the board. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to make sure, yeah, everything's set up correctly, so... It seems like the rope, or jumping over here... I don't know, I'm trying to figure oh, out... What the point of the rope was... Because it seems like, because I thought the rope was our way of getting over here, but I mean, if... if no, it's, it's climbing down and being able to come back up, I but guess. But why would we ever have to come back up? Yeah. For reasons, I guess. I don't know. I guess we'll find out once we hit some totems. Yeah, where it's like, this is basically... Hey, that's a 16. What do you roll with this for? Is it 17? 17. Fuck me in the butt! <laughs> Which... Because of that, he will get, he will attack you. Okay. You might miss. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, oh, let me dodge. Ah, okay. Since I get a free doge. Ah, there you Mega go. Mega dodge. Fifteen. Yeah. I, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like what was it? Twelve, which he has. Plus, how much is she getting? Plus two, 11, four, so 15? Okay, so it just hits. Yeah. Okay, so that will be two damage. Two damage. Okay. All right. So, he's dodged now. Mm-hmm. I'm going uh, I'm to hit him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hammer helm. Ah. Is that enough? 13? Is that just enough? Just. Okay, fantastic. So that's gonna be. We're in melee, so it's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 6, 6. There's 1 HP left. Okay. Um, and then we'll follow up. 
Nice. Quick blow. Okay. Get him. Get it. Oh, I also healed two. I did damage it. I get to do that once per turn. Yep. One more damage. Nope. No. Okay. That's Nothing fine. else. I mean, that's I think I was going to gore shot him. Yeah. And it's just going to like, because it's magic damage. So. Yeah. <laughs> Should've it's just it. like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. It's just a sword. <laughs> just a fucking floating sword. <laughs> Who summoned this? That's embarrassing. And <laughs> living oblations over there crying. What shoddy craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yep. Uh, oh, hey, Cave Sickle's out. Okay, Nightingale's turn. She's gonna go one, two, uh, three. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So she is going to uh, move. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yep, okay. And then she is, yeah, going to gore shot. Okay, that will be a 12. Will you roll its conviction of two lime? Of course. Of fucking course. Um, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead. <clears throat> wow. I just realized I am not with him. Oh, I would have totally dodged that earlier. I forget I get that passive plus one. For what? The hoodie def deflection. Oh, you just get a passive plus one to your dodge? Yeah, if it's not a skull. Oh, gotcha. Um, I don't even know. I don't remember how much damage it was. It was okay. two. Oh. All right, I'm going to do bring the shadows, make a move. So, make a move. One, two, three, I guess four, five, six. Nice. Get that loot. Because I can jump down. No, I'm not going to get the loot. Oh. Uh, yep, then cast spell six. Eight, 14, have it make a conviction check again. Okay. Sorry. I mean, it's this game. Like, you, I've been very vocal about how the dice are bullshit. <laughs> so, uh, they, uh, same designers as folklore? What? Anyway, that's not the, that's not the real reason why I went there anyway. Um, so, uh, youth and, now I will deal myself one irreducible damage. Um, to inflict euthanasia on the living oblation. Nice. That I will nice. That's a 16 roll uh, her conviction check, please. Can you add a bunch to it? Nope. <laughs> What's her conviction? Two lime? It's, it's two lime, yeah. Oh, well, the same as. Oh, right, because yep. it shares it's from the master. Yep. Come on, roll shitty. Yeah. That's cocked. 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 Uh, sure. It's even better. I'm rolling for my own characters now. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm Look rolling at fire. That. Yeah, I'm I'm about to fucking just burn this game. <laughs> wow, 14. Okay, look at that. I inflict wilt and deal six magic damage uh, to her. Um, I'm going to flip this to cast the same spell again. Okay. Um, oh wow, look at that. It failed. It actually did fail. That was a 15 to my 16. Um, so it's going to take 12 magic damage, and now she's condemned. So it's gone and she's condemned, or is it both? Uh, both. So wilted. So did you just deal damage, or you just stacked? Because that'll add more damage yeah, to it. Yeah, so it's going to be 14 total damage. Okay. 14. Yep, 14 total damage, and they are both condemned. Uh, that is that. So that's flip. That's, uh, how to use that last one. Okay. That's Nightingale's turn. Uh, so now it's the Living Oblation's turn. I uh, hit the, hit the thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. God, these things. I'm good at rolling those. Nope. Okay. Um... Anyway, well now it's her turn. So is there an opponent? Nope. Is there an opponent within SOI? This figure has at least ten damage. Uh, yes. So she's going to summon the exalted Esper Ambermelech. Wait, I thought it already happened. No, she summoned Minos. Wait, she summoned different ones. Yeah. Oh. 
All other figures with Ansel are dealt a purple die of magic damage, then you heal equal to the amount of damage. So that is everyone within SOI. So she's so. Okay, so one. One purple die because it doesn't really say against each. So everyone will take two damage, and she heals six. Oh, okay, could be worse. Yeah, I guess so. So two damage. Ouch. Uh, so two damage knocks her down to ten. Um, he takes two damage, uh, but he does get a vow token. Nice. Okay. Yep, that was her turn. Uh, Spirit Blade is also condemned. <sighs> okay. Well, is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there if the figures that spawn the spirit blade alive and have damage equal to at least half of their maximum HP? No. No. Uh, otherwise, move towards the nearest opponent. Uh, and, break attack. Uh, from who? Remy. Uh, can you do break attacks with range? No, it's melee. Is it melee? You're not. You're not it? it was right here. Oh, okay, you were right there. Oh, then yes, break attack. So okay. attack it. Hell yeah! Fuck this thing. Okay. Oh, that doesn't refresh. Okay. Um, yeah, so then it's going to make a attack against uh, Damocles. Yep, let's just have him dodge. Adds one, two, so he is at 13. Miss. Nice. Okay. Uh, that was that? What was that? I'm getting Nightingale to the... Oh my god, there's a fucking blue totem right there. Yeah. And I can see that red totem, too. Well, I guess before I shuffle those... <coughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because I'm just going to book it to the exit anyway. A Blighted Guardian stands flanked by multiple fraggers. Spawn a Blighted Guardian on the space of this totem oh, occupied. Oh, buddy! Then spawn three fraggers on any occupied normal terrain spaces adjacent to the Blighted Guardian. That's not even worth my time to... to, uh... spawn all those. Well, I guess t technically they all would have went after her. But, whatever. And, of course... Well, at least there's the silver lining. Maybe she'll die before. Because of the condemned. No. Why would it? I'm so over this fucking, uh, like, Map. stint of, of, uh, like, these mines are fucking awful. Anyway, back to her. Um, so an opponent within SY, yes, cast a spell six. 15. Um, prioritizing the opponent with the highest total armor value. That is Damocles. So his conviction check is to, to whatever teal. And he very much fails. So um, oh my god, that's a nasty ass attack. She rolls two purples. So add, add these up. One, two, oh. four. No, no, no. Luckily, the numbers don't matter. So four. It's it's based off number of books. Mm. So four. Okay, six. Seven, eight, nine. So that is magic damage per book. So he takes nine damage. Um, make this a ten. Uh, oh, he's dead. Okay, oh. Uh, all right, so he's down. Then, cast the spell again, prioritizing the opponent with the lowest total armor value. That is most likely Remy. She has one armor. Not Remy, sorry, uh, Nightingale. You have one armor? She has one armor. I have no armor. Oh, then it's Remy. Okay, bring it. Okay, uh, spell six. Jesus! Hot, spicy rolls for the foes tonight. Yeah, that's fun. That's All right, how bad is it? What am I taking? Uh, it's 15. You need to 
Try and beat a 15. What's my conviction check? I always have to check that. Probably just two purples. Oh, I've got a white and purple. Okay. okay. One. Oh. Three damage. Ouch. Three magic damage. Owie. And that's her turn. Nightingale. Owie. Okay. I don't give a fuck. I mean, what's the red totem? Probably another blighted... Did you have enough stamina to grab the loot before you ran? Uh, yeah, probably. It's probably going to be like an explosion. Oh, well. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. No way! Yeah. Barrage yeah. of darts shoot from the chest as you open it. All figures on or within range 3 of this token must make a strength 10 check. Oh, her strength is 7. <laughs> yeah. Nailed okay. it. Otherwise, they become overcome uh, by toxin, dealt a purple die of irreducible damage, and become paralyzed. <laughs> this is fucking nasty. You have no idea how mad I would I, if that. I would have just probably taken, just broken all these fucking components. <laughs> um. Anyway, so yeah, because then I I have a movement of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then use the extra one to move one, two. Uh, we're not winning if it doesn't say restore. <laughs> Which it's not gonna. <sighs> it does not. Each party member gains one XP. God damn! And we heal half. Just, can we just say we lose the next one? Not even bother. Because uh, she's useless. Yeah, she's utterly. Her build is um, not. Her being at ten HP. Actually, she is at ten. She goes up by one. Yep. Then we go to through the rubble. Well, okay, these guys go up to half. Look, they didn't do much work. Let's just give her the summon back. I mean... I mean, I, I really don't give a fuck. Uh, it's just... Like, this is, like, fucking awful. Um, anyway, hey, an XP. And then we go to... Through the rubble. Which is probably, again... I mean, that's the third one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm just gonna. I don't give something back. I know what I was doing. I had no idea. Yep. Alright. That was Monsters, Monsters Everywhere. That wasn't fun in any way. I mean, it was <laughs> at the very beginning, whenever we all AoE'd everything. Um, <laughs> but, but, yeah. Alright. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful whatever time of day is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.